everyone, this is Dee from Dee's Fine Art and today I'm going to be pouring on a 16 by 20 canvas. This is an old painting that I did during one of those paint and sip classes. Um, so obviously it's not the best, um, but um, yeah, so I'm just gonna reuse that canvas um, for a pour. Uh, now, since I don't have very much room right now on here, uh, I'm gonna have to do, like I'm, I'm not gonna be able to tilt much so I'm probably going to just use a knife um, to move the paint around. Um, that said, I will start with a cup. 16 ounce cup should do the trick um, for a 16 by 20 canvas. Probably don't need all of that uh, to be filled. Um, let's see, what colors do I want? I'm running pretty, pretty low on a lot of the, my pre-mixed colors, um, so I'm gonna have to just make do with what I've got. Some of which are completely blocked right now. All right, I'm starting with the, with the green. This is a permanent green light, which is my favorite shade of green to work with um, because it's so versatile, like it, it it's opaque, um, which, you know, some of the other greens are not. Um, and I don't know, it just mixes well with other colors. I'm going to use a tiny drop of silk on there. This one is aqua. Oh, goodness, that's hard to open. The way I layer my colors is I try to put um, colors that won't sort of conflict too much with each other um, on top of each other. So like if I put, if I want to put like a magenta in this, if I put it on top of the green, it'll make mud. Um, so I try not to do that. So I'll try to put colors that are on the color wheel between the green and the magenta first um, before I can put that one. It's my, of course, my favorite color, thalo blue. going to add, this is uh, Prism Violet. I feel like I pronounced that one weird, but anyway, whatever. In case you don't know, English is not my first language. Um, I actually speak Arabic as my first language and a tiny, teeny, weensy bit of French. Um, as my third language, I suppose. Uh, but really, I can't really speak. Like, I can't have a conversation in French. Um, I just know enough to navigate around Paris when I go. <laughs> That's pretty much it. All right, well, this magenta bottle is almost finished. And right now, there we go, finally. I can finish it up into this painting. So when you pour the paint down the side of the cup like this, uh, it tends to not mix too much with the colors beneath it, which is sort of what I want uh, for most of these colors. Uh, and then I'm gonna add white and actually uh, pour that in so that it does mix with all the colors. I'm gonna add a touch more silicone. All right, so this is my white. The way you get it to mix in is you sort of squirt it into the middle like this like the way I'm doing it right now. There we go. It's going pretty well so far. Cup is looking interesting. And finally, I don't have very much of this orange left, so I'm just gonna finish it up. Usually what I do is I wait for some of the colors to be finished, like this one and the magenta. Um, I wait for as, as long as I can, really, uh, and then I'll mix them all uh, in bulk. 
Um, so I'll sit down and finish like two gallons of Liquitex pouring medium um, to make, you know, a full, um, what's it called? A full set of bottles. Yeah. I, I have like 30 bottles, so there are a lot to fill. <laughs> um, and each one is 16 ounces. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna flip this over, land it on here. Okay, I'm gonna go get that knife while I wait. this is the largest knife I could find right now so as you can see like the white just disappeared sort of um, as it mixed with the other colors and this may not be enough paint and it's very obvious that the paint is going that way um, so these may be a little too high what I'm gonna do is squirt more white around the edges Here we go. I'm working the white in to the colors. bit of a mess right now. That's okay. Oh, nice. That brought out some green. I'd like to bring some of that orange out too. So one of the um, things about phthalo blue is that while I love working with it, it does tend to uh, overwhelm uh, a painting because phthalo blue is not very dense. It's a rather transparent color. Um, and so it floats to the top in a lot of paintings. So even if I leave it like this right now, it may end up being much darker by tomorrow, uh, by the time the paint settles. So I'm guessing the paint is gonna fall off that way which may be a problem for me. I don't want it to fall on my floor. So I'm just gonna put some, whoop, already some paint felt down, down that side, it looks like, white, white paint. Um, I'm liking it so far. Um, it, it is a little dark in this area, so I'm probably gonna try to do something about that. Adding some more white and Out of paint. There we go. Getting rid of some of that mud, muddy color. There we go. Um, sometimes I can get the perfect edges, um, you know, to, like for the paint to fall off equally on every direction. Um, or well, I do that most of the time. But sometimes when it, the, the canvas is like messed, messed up like this, um, in terms of not being level, it will just do what it wants. 
so the paint will fall off on maybe one direction maybe two at most um, but not you know have perfect edges so I sort of artificially try to cover the canvas like this and hope that the rest of the the paint that when it falls off um, it'll cover it and it will look really nice like it you know like um, like this effect you have right here I don't want to tilt this canvas, but I may have to. All right, I'm tilting. It's a little too much paint, so. things about pouring is that the more you do it the more familiar you are with how to like change things so you know if you pour it and the random pattern is sort of something you don't like um, you learn how to change it and how to make it so that you do like it this is a lot better now it's still falling that direction uh, but since I got a, rid of a lot of the paint um, hopefully it won't change too much issue I have here is that I don't like the, I mean, I really like this side already, so I don't really want to get rid of it. So even though I want to cover this side, I'll just have to do it the old fashioned way like that. Goodness. I'm trying to get a little bit of clean here so I can rub this off the wall. Nope. All right, I guess that was already there, maybe. Either way, it's dry now, so it won't come off. All right, so just a couple more changes that I'm gonna make. I'd like to make this side a little brighter. And, oh, I'm already out of magenta, unfortunately. As much as I would like to squeeze some more out of this. Because the magenta sort of disappeared and is now just like here. Okay. Sometimes I'll like, I like to follow the natural lines with like white and I know that the white will disappear um, for the most part but it'll leave behind like just a little bit of a hint of the white um, which gives it a little more definition and that's nice. Magenta is um, is a transparent color and it is less dense than most other colors whereas titanium white tends to sink because it is a rather dense color. All right, last thing I'm gonna do is torch it just a little bit to see if I can bring out some more cells. Oh, 
Okay. Um, I'm going to let it dry. Once it dries, if I still don't like this area too much, I'm just going to go over it with a paintbrush um, to get the effect I want. Uh, I really love this area, so I hope it stays this way. Um, and if not, again, I'll use a brush to sort of enhance it a bit or um, what's the word I use? Embellish. <laughs> yes, uh, to embellish it a little. Um, all right, well, I hope you like this video. I'm sorry for the lighting. It's sort of crappy in here. Um, and I'll see you in my next video.